from the first position. Here we go. Ballet class is one of the hardest things to do for a classical ballet dancer. It is that daily pursuit of excellence, pursuit of perfection, refining your body, your technique, and you're hoping you will perfect your, not just technique, but your body as well in the process. Front side, front side, front, clush, clush, clush. For the last uh, five years since I became the artist director of this company, I've been mainly teaching, coaching, so uh, you don't have to really push your body in that comprehensive way. But now I have to become a student all over again, and it's very confronting. When I knew that Lee was making a comeback, I was super excited. Just to have someone of that caliber, just to be able to dance alongside Lee, it, possibly one of like my biggest dreams, I guess. Can you get the leg up high and then glide? At the moment, you low, and then towards the end, you lift your leg up. You can leave your head behind and then just come around at the end. Come around there at the end, yeah. In this production this year, I wear two hats. Yeah, that's it, that's it, yeah. Pas de poisson, two upright. So Paint. I'm also directing of yes, the rehearsals right. and teaching, coaching, um, make sure that all the dancers doing absolutely the right thing to make the story strong. But the other hat I wear is the performer. I think it's super inspiring to all of us to try our best because, you know, if Lee can do it after 18 years, why can't we, that we're rehearsing every day? So I think, I think it's lifting the whole company a level higher than we were before. Bend your body a little bit more, bend backwards. The Nutcracker would have to be one of my most favorite ballets. It's with the very first classical ballet I danced when I went to the West. When they took me from my family, I did not recognize this as honor. I did not see dancing as an opportunity. That training from 5.30 in the morning to 9 o'clock at night, six days a week, made me realize if you have discipline, if you have that dedication, if you have the drive and determination, nothing is impossible. Well, Lee does the unexpected. He's not your average person. If he says he's going to do something, he does it. We all say we're on the train, <laughs> following. 18 years ago, I decided to stop my dancing career, retiring from a profession I loved so dearly. Just want to quickly give you an update on the market, just opening. It was a really a career transition to ensure my family's financial security. It was my dream to be able to help to change my family's fate uh, in China because the life there was so tough. Even though I was successful in the financial market, I really felt that passion, that love for ballet is still in my heart. When the Queensland Ballet advertised for a new artistic director, they simply couldn't believe one of the applications they received. It came from none other than Li Xuanzin, the man better known as Mao's last dancer. When you, when you go around, when you pull around, I think this is, is another huge opportunity in my life to come back to the dance world for the second chance. And I think this time I love it even more. When you start to pirouette again after 18 years, you're very, very dizzy. Now he does his turns and no one can quite believe it and they all clap, so it's quite sweet really. But that took a while because your head just feels, you just swim. You think you can do it, and then you try to do it, and it just doesn't really happen. But you can't do it if you're not ballet fit. I'm not quite sure how the dancers would uh, think about me uh, amongst them all. I hope I motivate them a bit more. even though perhaps my legs is not as high as when I was younger. 
every year that passed by, you, you feel it in your body. You feel that it's not the same as the year before. So coming back at 56, that's, that's just incredible to me. All his professionalism will come back. I, I don't have any, I never worry about that. He's so calm. If I have to take myself back to the poverty stricken peasant boy, sometimes I have to truly pitch myself so hard, thinking, is that really my life? Is this really a journey I lived through? Is this the success I've achieved? It's truly a beautiful dream. If it is indeed a dream, please don't wake me up.